Hello everyone, welcome to Money Magazine. I'm your host, Mercedes Barba. We are here with such an amazing and special guest today. She is the writer of Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat, which is a fabulous cookbook. You should all go out and get it. And she is also the host of Netflix's show, which is by the same name. We welcome into our kitchen studio, Samin Nasrat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited to have you on. So in case you guys don't know, Samin is our cover for our April travel issue. But today <laughs> we are really excited because you are going to teach us how to cook. And I'm going to try. Fresh pasta. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a journey. It's going to be a journey for both of us. walk us through and walk our audience through what we will be cooking today. Yes, we're gonna make pasta. I think we can decide on the shape together. Awesome. But I think we can make some fresh noodles and then we can pound some pesto in a mortar and pestle and make a little pasta al pesto. We, are, we just have this beautiful, very delicate basil and we might actually use some of this live stuff. Perfect. And then we'll pound a bunch of that. We have pine nuts, which add the creaminess and they're kind of a delicious source of fat. We'll have olive oil, which of course is my favorite fat. And then, <laughs> and then we'll have some salt and garlic. And the most important thing of all, cheese. For me, I like to use a mixture of two cheeses. In the pasta itself, that's really simple. It's just flour and egg. So I have a pretty easy and simple ratio for pasta, which is just one cup of flour, one egg, and one egg yolk. And that makes enough pasta for about two people. Oh, wow. So this is kind of like, I make a little well in there because that's where we're going to put our egg. Okay. And do you, how do you feel about cracking an egg? I can crack an egg. Okay, crack an egg in the there. The whole egg in yeah, there. But that one, we're going to do whole egg and then we'll also do a yolk. I feel like this step is the one you've seen like in every video movie oh, yeah. picture of all oh, time, yeah. which is the mixing of the egg. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go okay. slow to give the flour the time it needs to absorb the egg. You know, a lot of our audience really kind of likes good advice on, you know, maybe Ooh. like kitchen staples or maybe oh, like yeah. budget friendly, like recipes and stuff. What should people have in their fridge at all I times? feel like the number one answer to that question, if you ask me, is Parmesan cheese. Parm. It's the answer to all problems. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> So I always have really good salt on hand. I have a few sources of salt, so salty things like pickles and olives. And then same thing with fats. I wanna have a really nice bottle of olive oil around and probably some delicious butter. Yeah. Those two things, you know, with, with a little olive oil and butter, you can make anything taste really good. All right, what's the next step? You wanna wrap your pasta to protect the outside from getting dry. And then we'll just let that rest. We can work on the pesto. Let's do it. Okay. I like my pesto to be very rich in nuts and cheese because those two things are delicious. And also they're very, very fatty and creamy. So they're gonna lead to a really creamy pesto that I, I am very excited about awesome. to share with you. Awesome. So I usually start with the nuts. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just go gently till I've mostly broken them down till it looks kind of like peanut butter. And so you mentioned that people should have Good cheese, mm -hmm. right? Parm, pecorino, we have both here. Um, in terms of like what your favorite, you know, kind of easy-ish meal to prepare oh, yes. would be, let's just say you had a dinner party for four people. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what would be something that would be budget friendly, easy to make? Oh, chicken. <laughs> A whole chicken. I mean, oh, roast chicken. To me, like, if I want to serve other people, I would say vegetables or a salad or both. And that, well, that right there, cauliflower and chicken, that feeds people and that's like, you know, less than 20 bucks. Exactly. So now we have that. We have our cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do a little bit of garlic. We can just pound some garlic. And when we pound the garlic, I like to add a pinch of salt because it helps it break down. Interesting. So if you want to do that, sure. what I'll do is I'm going to pick some of those delicate basil leaves off the plant. So to me, I always say the best like dollar or two dollars you can spend at the store is on a bunch of herbs. So for our audience watching, what is something that somebody should have in their kitchen that you suggest? Everyone needs to have a cast iron pan and also a really nice knife. So it's a nice investment that's going to make life a lot easier. Having a good tool is going to make cooking a lot more pleasurable. Great. So in your, um, in your show, you travel all around the world. What are some of your favorite places to travel? Oh. And can you share any travel tips Okay, with us? my very favorite place to ever go ever, 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 ever is Mexico. <laughs> it's like you're seeing a whole other part of the world. Amazing. Yeah. I'm just gonna scrape the basil back into this bowl. So oh, I like awesome. about twice as much Parmesan as pecorino, so if you want to put like two sort of big pin, like handfuls and then one 
handful of pecorino. We can start with that. Two. Oh, I like your handfuls. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like cheese. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be cheesy fast. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay, good. So I'll just start with about half of it. Cool. And we can always add more cheese and more garlic. Perfect. And then um, oil also, like, we'll add some, enough to get it to come together. And then it Beautiful. may be that we want to add more depending on how, how it comes together. Wow, that looks amazing. It smells so good. So now that the pasta dough has rested, so what I like to do is roll, roll it out with this little pin. And what we'll do is we'll do a few sort of pre-rolls, which I consider to be extended, extended kneading. <laughs> What yeah. we're gonna do is we're gonna get it all the way smooth and silky before we really, really start rolling it thin. And I do it twice through every one. You know, you travel around the world learning about food and you know, what advice have you learned or what can you share with us who don't travel so much, but- <laughs> Would like to. But would like to yeah. or, and would like to do it efficiently. Okay, make sure you have noise canceling headphones. Mm. <laughs> That's crucial for the travel itself. Wow. Do, you, do you want to do some? This, this is the, this is kind is of the amazing. funnest step. Yeah, so you should do. Sure. So what you want to do is feed it. Do you want me to feed it and you crank it? Sure. Okay. Oh. This is kind of like being a kid and playing with your Play-Doh machine. This is yeah, the best this part. This is fun. Yeah. This one. Okay, if you start cranking, I'll feed it in. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Wow. And you want to make it? You want to kind of split it up into little. Um, I just don't want the, to pile them up because they'll start to stick to oh. each other. So this way, it's a nice. They're nice and separate. Beautiful. So we always want to add pasta into boiling water so that um, the water can come back to a, a boil as quickly as possible. Mm. If we just put all of that work into, it's going to sit on the bottom and sort of cook into one lump. But look, it's already oh, yeah. floating because it's already jostling because yeah. the boiling water was so nice and hot. Oh, it's awesome. How long do you cook fresh pasta? But okay. this could be as little as a minute oh. or, or a minute and Quick. a half or two, maybe two minutes. Ah. I sort of judge by the way the pasta noodles flop. Oh yeah, you see, looking it's just different. Like, it's just floppier. It's just floppier. Yeah, it, looks so it smells creepy. good, it right? It smells, the smell, you guys, is, is intense. It's very fragrant. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> there you go. Is this maybe, is this one of your favorite recipes? It's, a, it's one I love teaching because it's yeah. so simple and it gives you this feeling of like, I accomplished something. Yeah. We had a table of ingredients and now we have a bowl of pasta. Yeah. Like that's like 30 minutes <laughs> later, you know? <laughs> Let's take a okay. bite and then you can tell me if you need more cheese. Mm. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it's really good. It's perfect. <laughs> I actually think it's plenty <laughs> juicy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking us out. Feel free to go to money.com if you want more amazing content from this wonderful woman, Samin Nasrat. Samin, thank you. It's thank been you, such, such a pleasure learning from you and learning about all your You're a great student. Yes, Bye, Bye, good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bon appetit. Yeah. You guys should get a four. If you want to see more money videos, click here.